again, this is the Mass of Data Science, University of Newcastle. We'll start with a short video. Hopefully, we'll be able to see and, and, and hear. My name is Ricardo Campillo. I'm a professor of data science, and I'm the convener for the Mass of Data Science in the University of Newcastle. Data science is a multidisciplinary field which uh, brings together elements of statistics, computer science, mathematics, and other disciplines in specific application domains involving data management, modeling, analysis, interpretation, visualization, effective communication, and decision-making driven by data. The program was created mainly to respond to an increasing demand for uh, highly qualified professionals with data science and uh, data analytics skills. The core of the program brings a selected blend of statistics and computer science courses that are fundamental in data science and analytics, specifically data wrangling and visualization, predictive analytics, databases and information management, big data, and a choice between data analytics for business intelligence or the science of data interrogation. Mass of Data Science at the University of Newcastle is truly interdisciplinary, drawing from the best expertise across the disciplines of science, engineering, and health and medicine. It's one of the only programs in Australia with specialization strands, a computational intelligence specialization and a health data analysis specialization. The computational intelligence specialization focuses on aspects of data science more closely related to computer science and information technology. The health specialization strand focuses on medical and bio-related aspects of data science. Currently, the program is offered fully online with a professional and applied focus and emphasis on transferable skills. It can be completed in as short as one and a half year for full-time students or part-time equivalent. Data is everywhere, and all the industries now make decisions uh, driven by data. So the demand for professionals will just tend to increase, and will do so even more dramatically in the near future. Okay, so if moving on to, to my presentation, so if you ask me uh, to define data science in a single word, a single keyword, I would say it's interdisciplinary it's, uh, or, or multidisciplinary. Um, so there are a um, number of programs uh, that are called data science, but if you um, carefully look, they may come almost entirely from computing science. They have very strong computing science focus or almost entirely from statistics and mathematics or possibly even from business um, in business uh, analytics and business intelligence. Um, the, the mass of data science in, in the University of Newcastle was designed to be truly interdisciplinary and have um, a balance between the major pillars uh, of, of this field. Um, so it draws from the best expertise uh, in the faculties of science, the faculty of engineering and the faculty of health and medicine. The faculty of science is where the, the program actually uh, sits uh, formally, it's where I am from. Uh, and we host the disciplines of statistics and applied mathematics. These disciplines offer uh, courses in the core of the program of the masters. And then we have the faculty of engineering uh, that hosts the disciplines of computing science and information technology. They also contribute a few courses in the core of the program. But most importantly, they, um, they contribute an entire specialization strand that is called a computational specialization strand that is essentially a computing science um, uh, specialization of data science. And then we have uh, the Faculty of Health and Medicine that hosts disciplines uh, of medical statistics and biostatistics. And they also offer an entire specialization strand that is uh, focused on, on, on health data analysis. So this is uh, basically how the, the program looks like. We have um, um, 50 units of core courses, essentially five courses, 10 units each. And then we, uh, the students uh, have to choose uh, um, one specialization strand. Currently, we have two specialization strands. 
uh, one computational intelligence, the other one health data analysis. Uh, in the future, uh, we uh, uh, plan to, to, to extend this list, uh, but these are the, the, the strengths that we offer uh, currently. And then you have to choose one of them. Uh, you will do 60 units uh, in each of these specializations. And then you can choose uh, an entirely free uh, elective from um, the list of the courses that are offered across the, the university at third level, uh, third year level, or, or honors level, or postgrad uh, level. And then that completes the 120 um, units. So this is um, uh, the, the, the program um, as uh, if, it, it, depending on the uh, admission criteria that you meet, this is the maximum number of, of um, units that you will, um, that you will do. Uh, however, we do have in place a mechanism for advanced standing uh, via um, recognition of prior learning. And this uh, uh, can uh, um, happen in a different uh, number of ways. Uh, sometimes it's based on uh, previous uh, degrees or some previous courses that you have done uh, in uh, another uh, university and then that you can get uh, credits for or even uh, based on the basis of uh, work experience when it's relevant and uh, well documented. So there's uh, this, this advanced standing and the recognition prior learning uh, mechanism in place and then depending on your prior qualifications you will do something between uh, 80 and uh, 120 units. Um, so we, we do have two uh, graduate certificates, uh, 40 units each, uh, and these graduate certificates, they can serve as uh, alternative entry pathways into the program. So if you do not meet the admission uh, requirements uh, for the masters, then you can seek admittance uh, in, in one of the grad certs. We have the grad certificate in the data science and the graduate certificate in um, data analytics. And um, these two are nested within the masters in the sense that the courses that, uh, um, the, the, that the grad certs consist of, they are also uh, part of the master. So if you complete the grad cert, you, will, uh, you can uh, upgrade uh, and move on uh, to the masters, continue your studies in the masters, and you will carry um, the credits that you did in the grad certs. So you can complete the grad cert and uh, uh, be awarded the, the, the grad cert degree and then move on uh, uh, onto the masters. So um, the core courses in the program, as I said before, we have 50 units and these are the, uh, the 50 units that we have in the program. Uh, they are essentially a mix of statistics and uh, computing science um, uh, courses. We have a course on data wrangling and visualization. It's basically a course all about uh, data pre-processing that is a very important uh, step in, in, um, and task in, in, in data science. Uh, you can't do anything with data before you, you, you make data, uh, um, put the data in a suitable way so, so, so you can analyze it. So, um, so this course basically discusses uh, all the aspects involving uh, tidying, cleaning data, and then pre-processing data for analysis. And also then uh, also discusses uh, exploratory data analysis based on uh, uh, statistical visualizations. And then we have a, a predictive analytics course that is basically uh, a machine learning course with a statistics uh, flavor. Um, and then a database uh, course, uh, um, covers uh, SQL and uh, relational database. It's a classic database database course. If you have completed a degree in computing science and you have done probably then a database course, it's very likely that you're going to get this uh, this course as, as, as credits. Um, and as I mentioned before, this is just an example of uh, recognition of prior learning. Uh, students coming with degrees in computing science. They, they have done a course on database, they can get this course as, as credits so they, they don't need to complete the 120 units. Uh, then we have a, a course on big data and a choice between two courses that are basically a statistics course. Uh, and these are designed for students that come without a strong statistical background. Again, if you come with a degree in statistics, you will probably then get one of these two uh, this 10 units as, as, uh, uh, as advanced standing uh, recognition prior learning, uh, you'll get as credits. So it's the, the, 
This course are basically introductory statistics, but one has a more um, business focus and the, one, uh, the other one is more focused on science. So this is the core of the program. And then as I mentioned before, we have two specialization strands. So this is the first specialization strand I'm, I'm gonna talk about. It's called computational intelligence. It's basically a classic data science uh, specialization from, from the computing science perspective of data science. So in this specialization strand, uh, 60 units, uh, 50 units are compulsory, and they, uh, and they consist of four courses, actually. One of the courses, uh, this computing project Comp 6900, uh, it has 20 units. This is, is, is essentially a capstone project that you will, you will tend to do this course in the very end of the program. It's a capstone project, so it's, it's, it's a major project. It's, it's, it's worth 20 units, not 10. All of the other courses are worth 10 units. Um, and then um, we, we have a machine intelligence. It's basically a ma machine learning course with a more computing science view of machine learning with deep learning stuff, neural networks and you know, pattern recognition. Um, uh, this comp 6380. Then we have a data mining course, COMP, comp 6340, uh, professional practice in IT, and this is the compulsory part of this specialization. And then you have a list of uh, courses from which you will pick one um, as directed. Then you have advanced database, if you want to uh, go deeper into, into database or cloud computing, web technologies, algorithms, data structures, uh, object oriented programming and project man, uh, planning and management. So this is the computational, uh, uh, computational intelligence uh, specialization strand of the program. Um, so um, it's, it's not very common that students uh, do the full-time studies in this program. A lot of our students, they, they are working professionals, so they study part-time. So we do have program plans uh, for part-time students uh, doing one or a couple of courses uh, per semester. Uh, what I'm showing here is just a, a, how it looks like if you do want to be a full-time uh, student. And it's this uh, uh, program plan shows that if you start uh, the program now in semester two in, in August, um, and you study full time, you do four courses uh, per semester, you are able to complete this entire master's uh, in uh, as, as short as one and a half years, even if you don't get any advanced standing uh, granted. Even if you do have to do the um, 120 units, uh, if you study full time, it's possible to complete the program in as short as uh, one and a half years. But then this is uh, how it would look like if you were doing a special, computational special, uh, intelligence specialization, which is essentially what I have just shown to you, uh, uh, putting in, in a form of uh, uh, a sequence of courses that, that, that you could take. All right, so um, the other specialization strand is called health data analysis. It's pretty much focused on, on medical statistics and biostatistics. Uh, uh, people with interest in, in, in health and, uh, and research, for example, not necessarily, but, but for example. And this is how the specialization looks like. We have here, in this specialization, we have 40 units um, uh, of compulsory courses, uh, linear regression modeling, um, categorical data analysis and generalized linear models, then applied longitudinal analysis, um, and research project uh, project in medical um, statistics. Just check somebody. Um, all right, so just uh, people start um, asking questions. Uh, again, I will have to, to park up the questions. I'm alone, so uh, I will be more than happy to answer the questions once uh, the presentation is over during the Q&A uh, session that I will run after, okay? So I'll be more than happy to, to um, to answer the questions. So sorry, I'm just go, going back. So this is, then we have linear regression modeling, categorical data analysis and generalized linear models, applied longitudinal analysis, uh, research project uh, in medical statistics. This is uh, the equivalent of that um, capstone project in the computational uh, specialization. Uh, here we also have uh, a capstone project in the health specialization is this course, BIOS 6150, Research Project in Medical Statistics. And then 
um, you will complete uh, your 60 units uh, by picking uh, 20 units, uh, two courses from this list that you have currently statistical inference, foundations of probability theory, clinical trial design, fundamentals of epidemiology, your advanced epidemiology. So epidemiology is quite a hot topic now with uh, the COVID crisis, by the way. Um, all right, so this is how it looks like, the computational specialization strand. And this is, again, uh, if you do decide to pursue your, your, your studies uh, in full time, it is, again, also possible to complete this program in as short as one uh, and a half year if you study full time for courses per semester, even if you don't get any recognition of prior learning uh, granted and you do have to do the 120 uh, full units. Um, it's, it's worth saying that um, it is, uh, um, it's quite intensive. We can discuss this in the QA. Um, how, how much uh, you know is required uh, in terms of hours and improvement and engagement a week. This is this is um, um, hello. Can you please just mute yourself? Uh, somebody unmuted. Mute. Okay, I muted. Um, somebody who has just joined, and then. Um, so it is, it, is, it is demanding, but it's possible. We can talk about that after the talk. So again, then, um, so this is how the program looks like. And you may ask me, uh, why should I study data science? Um, we could spend here um, a long time um, discussing why data science, why we should do this. I will uh, not, um, take too much of your time. I don't want to do a very long presentation, a boring presentation. I will just, uh, I just picked a few, a few, uh, you know, um, pieces of information just to, you know, jot down here in these slides. Um, so you can, so you can um, perhaps, um, you know, um, um, come to your own conclusions. So this is um, from uh, 2019. Uh, um, data science, the, the first one, uh, best job in the United States for the fourth consecutive year, according to Glassdoor. Um, the first, uh, number one most promising job in the US in 2019, according to LinkedIn. Um, so in this uh, 2018 Deloitte Economics Report uh, about the data science market and education trends in Australia, it says, uh, it actually it says a lot of stuff. This is a very good report. I would recommend if you just Google it, you will find it uh, online. But one of the excerpts that I just you know picked uh, says the growth in Australia's digital economy is resulting in an increasing demand for data science skills expected to drive future growth in the data science work workforce. The Australian data science workforce is forecast to see sound growth in the next five years. So they said that a couple of years ago. Um, so here's the World Economic Forum report on the future of jobs saying, uh, again, there's a number of things there that relates to data science. I just picked this excerpt. The widespread adoption of big data analytics is one of the main technological advances set to dominate the 2018 to 2022 period as a driver positively, positively affecting business growth. There's extensive evidence of accelerating demand for a variety of wholly new specialist roles, including machine learning specialists and big data specialists. So this one is from the an IBM Burning Glass Market Analysis Report. This one's a bit older from 2017, but it's, as, as you can see, it's a trend 2017, 2018, 2019. 39% of data scientists and advanced analysts uh, positions require a master's or a PhD. On average, data science and uh, advanced analytics jobs remain open for five days longer than the market average. Okay, so these are just a few things that I, that I uh, picked to show. Uh, you may then ask, why should I study data science in the University of Newcastle and not in another university? Well, um, you know, the, the um, Mass of data science programs uh, that you find in the universities in Australia, you have very good uh, uh, programs in other universities, uh, but they, um, each one 
tends to be different uh, from a certain perspective and uh, each program may fit you uh, better or worse. So I will not try to here to say that uh, the master that assigned the University of Newcastle is the best program in all aspects uh, for everyone. I'm pretty sure that it's a very good, well-designed program that has some characteristics that hopefully will be, uh, will make this program the best one for you. So one of the things uh, in this program, it's 100% online and it's online by design, which means that it's flexible. Um, the point I want to make here is you may say, well, but everyone now uh, with COVID is actually teaching online, but there's a, there's a big difference between online delivery, which is essentially uh, the same thing you do in a face-to-face -face course, but instead of going to, um, the students going to, to the classroom, you will just, uh, you know, uh, uh, broadcast um, the video uh, to students remotely. So this is uh, online delivery. Uh, it is different from online design. So this, uh, you know, program is, is, is flexible, which means you can be, um, um, you know, doing your studies at any time, um, any day, any time. You don't have fixed uh, appointments like lectures at fixed times. We, we run, uh, you know, videos and then you have the materials, uh, the reading materials and the exercise and the activities. Uh, and you don't, you, you don't have any compulsory um, fixed time or date um, appointment. So you, you, you study as, as it's convenient for you. Uh, obviously, you have the, the timelines for the assignments. Um, but even the assignments, uh, in, in many cases, you are given a certain amount of time to, uh, to do uh, a quiz, for example, or even an exam. So it is flexible. And then you can be in any time zone and then uh, you can have different, you know, times or work shift. You can still uh, do your program. You are not required to come to campus at all. Uh, the second thing about this program is that it's a professional master uh, as opposed to an academic master. So um, we try to have a balance between um, the level of understanding that you require to um, to know what is going on behind the scenes as opposed to just um, using a software and, and be able to do some analysis. It's a very superficial level. So we, we, we are proud of the name science in the data science program because we do go deeper than just the, the very superficial uh, level that some you know, uh, more analytics uh, uh, programs uh, have. However, uh, it is not an academic master, so we, we don't go into uh, you know, proving theorems uh, and, and stuff like that. We do keep a very applied uh, focus. So it is a balance between the understanding of the concepts and the, uh, you know, what is behind the scenes, but, um, but keeping uh, the focus on the applications and uh, the hands-on um, uh, practice of, of, of data science. So we do focus on transferable skills rather than just um, um, you know, just technology. Of course, we use a lot of technology, um, um, you know, the, 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 the software package and the programming language, but we, we do not just teach you a programming language that perhaps in a couple of years will be obsolete and then um, you, you, you know, another one replace it and we'll uh, have to do another degree. So we focus uh, a lot on the transferable skills there are those skills that they use technology, but you learn with one technology, let's say you learn something, the concepts uh, in use in our language, and then uh, those concepts can be transferable to Python or to whatever language you want to use or learn. And then it's much easier to learn the technology as the technology evolves than learning the concepts that are, um, you know, underpin this, this, this area of data science. Um, so, we do have specialization strands, so very few, if any, program in Australia offers specialization strands, so you can choose your, your, your the pathway for studies. Um, it's an interdisciplinary approach, so again, uh, as opposed to programs in which, you know, almost everything comes uh, from solely from computing science or from business or from statistics here, uh, the computing science courses are taught by the experts in computing science, the statistics course are taught by experts in statistics. Um, 
the courses in biostatistics and medical statistics are taught by the experts in, in, the, in the faculty of health uh, and, and medicine. And obviously, um, this course are taught by uh, world-class experts um, from the University of Newcastle, which is uh, um, ranked, for example, in, in statistics and applied, ma and applied mathematics at, with the highest possible uh, rank in terms of excellence of research in Australia according to the Australian Research Council. That is a rank of five. And none of all the, the programs that, uh, that teach the courses in this, uh, none of the disciplines that teach courses in this program has uh, a, a level that is lower than four, which is still uh, quite high and means above world uh, average. The, the upcoming intakes. So we have now um, an intake in semester two. Uh, the enrollment deadline is uh, on the 19th of July, if you want to start the program now in semester two. And the semester will start in August 3rd. And then we'll have another intake in semester one next year. But you can start, uh, remember that I mentioned that we have the grad, graduate certificates uh, nested within the masters. Uh, one of our graduate certificates, the graduate certificate in data science, uh, uh, you can start in semester two, but you can also start in tri trimester three, which is a bit uh, later. So the enrollment de deadline for trimester three intake is August 9th, and the semester will start in August 24th.